19 years old, a student at the University of Wisconsin. Here he is, eating a hearty breakfast of bacon, eggs, waffles, and milk before heading out to class. Little does he know that his day is about to change dramatically. Today, we're going to discuss mutations in DNA. You probably all know about DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the molecule containing an organism's genotype, which eventually accounts for the organism's visible traits, or phenotype. We're going to examine what happens when changes are made to the DNA, and we have Max here today to show you analogous representations of each mutation. This video will cover three types of mutations. Silent mutations, insertion mutations, and deletion mutations. Here's Max again, once more having breakfast before class. You can see on the right that he now has peach yogurt, replacing his waffles. Although the right panel has a decidedly different breakfast vibe, his day won't change too much, as he still has a reasonably well-balanced and proportioned breakfast. This is analogous to what's known as a silent mutation. A silent mutation is when one nitrogenous base is replaced with another, but there is no effect on the organism's phenotype. An insertion, on the other hand, is an entirely different story. This is when extra nucleotides are inserted in the genetic code between two other bases. Here, Max has waffles, eggs, bacon, yogurt, fruit, coffee, and milk. That's a lot of breakfast. And he just ate it all. The reason this can have such a major effect is because it alters the reading frame of the DNA, meaning all the other bases are pushed over. This can change more than one codon triplet and, as a result, more than one amino acid. Well, let's check back on Max. And, uh, now he's puking. That was bad. Unfortunately, insertions into your DNA have more severe effects than just puking. The modifications of amino acids can have such effects as sickle cell anemia, Tay-Sachs disease, and cystic fibrosis. In our final analogy, Max doesn't eat much breakfast at all. Deletion mutations also can affect the reading frame, causing transcription errors and genetic disease. All frame shift mutations come with the possibility of making a stop codon, cutting the protein short or rearranging the nucleotides where a stop codon used to be, resulting in a longer amino acid sequence than before the mutation. We hope that this video has been an entertaining and informative introduction to genetic mutations. We also hope that with all the excitement, Max is able to make his bus on time.